I'm Paul Svensson and I'm a chef from Sweden. I run two restaurants in Sweden which focus on creating sustainable gastronomy uh, with as less resources as possible, with as much joy and pleasure as possible. Stop food waste is my absolute passion subject. Uh, I've been working really hard on that the last 10 years, I would say. If you throw away less, you get more flavor for your money. So uh, bread is one of uh, the top ones in Sweden uh, has, uh, that has been thrown away every single day, mainly because we think bread only has one life. I would say it has two or three lives, depending on how you look at a bread. Because this is a really tasty bread, of course, uh, traditional bread from this region, uh, which is amazing when it's freshly cooked. But it still contains the same sort of flavor even tomorrow. So grind it down into um, breadcrumbs like this. It could be something you uh, put on a steak, for example, to give it a crispy surface. You could have it on top of a dessert or you could make your cheese, uh, cheesecake bottom out of it just together with some butter or maybe olive oil. But even better, if you take it down to flour, which I'm going to do with a blender, you could restart a lot of different things. You could actually make your bread out of bread, for example. Or you could start your pasta dough with the bread from yesterday. Or you could do a hard bread, because that's the, the interesting part about food waste, is to not create waste. It's not about cooking with waste, it's about making processes so you never end up with waste. So if you consider this as a flavor instead of old stale bread, you're gonna look at it differently. And that's what I wanted to showcase today. Right, so this is suddenly a new dough. And what happens with the dough? We're going to roll it out really thin. And if we want to, we could make it into a, almost as close as pita again. Or we can make it into Swedish sort of traditional pan bread, as we call it. So we fry it in a pan just with a little bit of flour. Sometimes we actually use butter. It becomes a bit like uh, chapati they do in Africa. It's really amazing. I love that bread. So I'll just showcase this. So this is this is like a traditional pan bread, as we say in Sweden, or a flat bread. It could be called a tortilla, uh, but it also is sort of the starting position of making a hard bread. So uh, if we put this in the oven on 100, let's say 120, 130 degrees for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. It's going to be like really crispy, but still delicate. Uh, and the interesting part about this is that if I would cut, would about to cut it, I'm going to showcase it, into stripes like this, and package it like a beautiful hard bread like this, this would increase the value of the same bread with three times as much money. Because this becomes like a beautiful hard bread for cheese, for an example, which you are ready to pay for. It doesn't matter if this were about to be food waste, this is really delicious stuff. Next project, imagine this is our leftover bread. This is bread on bread. Like, it's already yesterday's bread, so now it's the day before yesterday's bread. If we cut it in, in slices like this, it becomes like a really beautiful, elegant piece of bread, of course. We dip it into um, some pancake butter. Soaked in pancake butter, straight into the pan. We add some butter to the pan. And this is one of my favorite. As you can see, I'm very passionate about reusing, recycling and reducing really the food waste by showcasing a few tips here, how you can manage your bread at home. But I also know that last week, the Ministry of Agriculture in Jordan uh, launched a campaign called Stop the Food Waste, which everyone can get involved in. It's so easy. Just go into your fridge and stop and reduce or wherever you do, everyone can do something and it matters if you just do a little bit every day.